Location targeting or geofencing in your Google Ads. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Specifically, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to set it up correctly and make sure you stay through to the end of the video because I also show you pitfalls that you can avoid making to stop unnecessary or wasted ad spend. So you definitely want to check that out. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Let's go do this. Okay, so setting up the right location targeting is critical to the success with your Google Ads. I've seen a number of people do this incorrectly, resulting in a really a ridiculous amount of wasted ad spend. And frankly, I think Google's kind of making enough money as it is. They don't need any more of your hard earned cash. So getting the right location targeting is, imper is imperative regardless of what type of campaign you are running, be it a Google search, display, or YouTube. The location targeting applies to all those types of campaigns. And lastly, it's important to know that you set the location targeting at the campaign level. Okay, so here we are in my live Google ad account. And as you can see here, I've gone straight to the campaign settings section. And very sneakily, Google's default setting is to target all countries and territories. Oh my goodness, there is absolutely no way that you should do that, nor do I recommend you doing that. So you definitely want to change these default settings. Uh, it's got here Australia for me. That's because that's where this account was, uh, well, it's been set up for. But what you're going to do is you're going to enter another location. So here I'm going to actually click on advanced search and you'll see for this particular country, I've just set it up for United States, but I actually don't recommend you do this. Really, this comes down to what type of business you have. For most businesses out there, they target certain really tight geographical regions like they're a local type business maybe they're a dental practice or uh, lawyers or um, maybe a plumber etc so really depending on what kind of business you have and where your customers are located is going to determine the regions you want to select so if I close this, so let's say you are a dental practice in Los Angeles. The mistake that some people would make is they would type in Los Angeles here, target uh, all of you, all of Los Angeles, not realizing this massive area where they've chosen Los Angeles is geotargeting, which is 17 million people. Now, if you're a dental practice in, uh, let's say, you know, down here in this particular area of Los Angeles, knowing what I know about Los Angeles, which is, uh, it's a pretty, pretty big place with pretty bad traffic. Someone from the other side of town is not going to trek all the way to the other side of town just to visit a dental practice, particularly if they've never, ever been before. So you really want to be very laser focused and targeted with your geofencing or your geotargeting in your ads. So what I suggest you do is I'm going to close this if, is you enter in a location. So possibly like the suburb or the neighborhood that you service. And the thing is you can target multiple suburbs and layer them that way and then actually do some pretty funky bid adjustments for areas that are doing really well rather than targeting one massive area. So let's say uh, this particular dental practice is in uh, Beverly Hills because that's probably the only suburb I know. <laughs> so let's type in Beverly Hills, California. If I target that, you'll see how it zooms right into this area and I've narrowed my reach to 206,000 people rather than a whopping 17 million. Okay, and here I can look to then layer certain regions uh, which they will target all of them. Okay, so definitely want to think about doing that. If you're unsure of what the area names are and stuff, you can actually toggle this show all areas. If I zoom out a little bit, you'll see these areas in gray. All right, so these are sort of their defined areas within Google. And if I click on it, it's going to tell me the reach of it. And um, so that's Beverly Hills 90210. <laughs> and then these other zip codes for America or would be uh, postcodes for a lot of other areas and the reach. And so if I can do target here and then you can see here the blue area is the one that I have selected. So this is a really handy tool that you can use to um, 
so I'm doing show all areas or you can show by postcode and really you can drill down and I find it very very handy help that way the other method you can do is what's called radius targeting and I'm also a really big fan of radius targeting so I'm just going to get rid of these and you can put in the place name address um, or really any kind of other kind of um, name that you can it will search for and then enter in um, a radius so let's say we want to do five miles around uh, Beverly Hills like this and you'll see it puts a, a ring around um, Beverly Hills or the particular place that I've entered and obviously I can make this bigger or smaller and change this to miles or kilometers so and you can layer multiple types of radius targeting as well so definitely want to um, consider doing this as a form of location targeting as well if I show you here in this particular ad account you'll see this is it in practice I've got multiple areas located and that helps me sort of target certain regions rather than choosing all of California and then I can compare the performance of the different regions here and I can see the different conversion rates that um, each of the of the regions have and then possibly think about applying different bid adjustments you know because this one in San Francisco converts at 12% versus versus other areas that convert let's say this one as 5% so I mentioned at the start of the video some of the sneaky settings so if I cancel this if I click on location options down here you'll see that the default setting here which is as recommended is the presence in or interest presence or interest so people in regularly in or who've shown interest in your target location so this is really the key thing here who've shown interest in your target location so my recommendation is not to choose this one but to choose this particular one so people in or regularly in your target location because if you leave this one selected you're going to have instances of people who are not physically in your target location but they've shown an interest in it and therefore might not be your target customer for example maybe somebody in Australia who is Google searching something to do with Beverly Hills then I see the ad which you definitely do not want so this is the closest you can get to um, really being accurate with location targeting one last thing I want to show you as well if we go to advanced search you can also exclude regions so let's say you want to exclude uh, Australia you'll see, oh, Austria so you can see I can target it and I can exclude it and that makes it red here as well just for an extra layer of security let's say maybe you're getting some spam or something often I find in excluding regions can also uh, help um, you know just ensure my ads aren't going beyond the scope of what I've selected okay so there you have it that's my advice for location targeting for your campaigns really regardless of what type of campaign you're running if you like this video feel free to check out my website teachtraffic.com and make sure you hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming your way thanks for watching